Before anyone gets it twisted, I like Daisy Ridley, but I cannot stand the Disney Star Wars sequel trilogy. And Disney is setting up Daisy Ridley for a massive failure. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Echo Base Network. We are live every Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We are glad that you are here. Today we are talking about Daisy Ridley and her comments about her forthcoming or upcoming Star Wars movie directed by Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy. We first found out about it over at Star Wars Celebration in 2023. Well, we found out about it officially. We broke the news along with our good friend WDW Pro that they were actually doing a Ray movie, you know, a month prior to Star Wars Celebration. We broke it, we told you, and it happened. Now, let's see what Daisy Ridley is saying, but before we get there, don't forget the reception that she had, and especially, let's look at the fans' faces when this goes down. So here we are at Star Wars Celebration all the way back in May... 2023. Let's see what happens when Charmino Bechonoy makes this announcement. Nobody knew it was coming. I'm attracted to the promise of a new Jedi Order, and I'm attracted to the idea of immersing myself in a Jedi Academy. Charmino Bechonoy. Powerful Jedi Master. Powerful Jedi Master. Who would like to meet the Jedi Master? Come on, make some more noise. Master? Okay, come on out. Listen. Whoa, whoa. All right. Yep. Now, let me break in here real quick. Just keep in mind, they are in an auditorium with tons of people. And it wasn't even the main stage, though. It wasn't even the main stage at Celebration. And... I mean, how big of an announcement could this really be? I don't even know who the MC is right there. Like, he is... I hate to sound this way, but in, in terms of Star Wars, who is that guy? <laughs> you know? But anyways, continue. Look at the faces and hear the sound. Look at their faces. Look at their faces. If they had walked Mark Hamill out on stage and like, Luke is making a spinoff movie... We're de-aging him. It's five years after Return of the Jedi. Man, people would be weeping, hanging from the rafters, jumping around, going nuts. Look at these people. They're clapping like the waitress at Cracker Barrel just said, your hash brown casserole will be out in about three minutes. Can I, can I get a cup of coffee too? Thanks. I mean, just look at these people. Look, let me go back. Look, look at that last image. Look at this. Look, they're smiling. Some of them are smiling. Some of these people don't care. Look at this. They're not amazed and shocked. Oh, you're giving us a Ray movie? This is, this is already a setup to fail, but it gets better when you look at Daisy Ridley's recent comments. And, and let's not... Ray Let's not get this twisted. I'm a Star Wars fan, a lifelong Star Wars fan. I want to see it succeed and make a comeback to greatness. We are nowhere close to that right now. <laughs> the audience would still be going nuts if this was an announcement that was worthy of the brand name. But it's not. My heart is pounding. I bet it is, Daisy, because you had no idea what to expect when you walked out there. And you actually talk about that in the interview that we're going to look at. Um, hi again. Hi again. The um, fans don't I want this. I am so, so thrilled to be at Celebration with all of you in London. Third sentence. You could hear a mouse fart right now. Um, thank you, Kathy, Charmaine, for having me back. I'm very thrilled to be continuing this journey. <laughs> That is dead. Did you see her face? Look at her face. Like, that's the face of, get me the freak off of this stage, dude. I don't know whether you... Ugh. Not, not good. 
Not not a good reaction right there. Well, it gets better, folks. Let's look and see exactly what Daisy Ridley had to say just a couple days ago. Daisy Ridley says her next Star Wars film is not what I expected, according to her. Ridley spoke with Collider, telling the publication she was very nervous when she appeared in London at Star Wars Celebration, where it was announced that she would star in the new film, the first since 2019's The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, Ridley said she hadn't been approached about the role as of February 2023, just weeks before the Star Wars event. The upcoming film, so they just threw that crap together real fast, weeks before Star Wars Celebration, to roll her out, and the fans don't even want it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see here. I was crapping myself and I say crapping in the, it, it, it's actually the R rated <laughs> word there. I was crapping myself before I went on stage. She said, because no one knew I was going to that. No one knew I was going to celebration, a uh, bar like, and there were a couple of people. I was so nervous. Oh my God. You weren't nervous because nobody knew you were coming. You were nervous because of what the reception was going to be like because the trilogy trilogy that she starred in was a massive L. And it's not Daisy Ridley's fault. Daisy Ridley, I I love her to death. I don't wish any ill will towards Daisy Ridley. I wish the sequels had been great Star Wars films. They weren't. And when you give us things that aren't great Star Wars, the fans don't want that anymore, and they don't want to be reminded of that anymore, and they don't want to see Daisy Ridley anymore as Rey. Let her be something else. She added, it was such a wonderful reception, I was very excited the story is really cool. No, it was not a wonderful reception. The story is not going to be cool, but I'm sure that you are excited because you have work, and I mean, I don't mean that ugly, but what has Daisy Ridley really done, really done in the four years since the rise of Skywalker. Very little. She added, it was such a wonderful reception. I'm very excited. The story is really cool. When asked if she thought the film would be the beginning of a trilogy, she said she's only aware of one storyline so far. She said, I know the storyline for one film. That's not to say that it's all it is, but that's what I was told about. And I imagine it will be the next film. I think, I mean, again, I don't know post-strikes and everything, how quickly everything will start up again. But yes, so far, I know the story of one film, and I think people will be very excited. No, Daisy, that is not reality. People are not going to be very excited for this movie. As a matter of fact, if they actually follow through and make this film, it is going to fail on a massive scale. Even if they take side characters like a Grogu, and put him in this movie. That's not going to do anything to generate interest. Fans have spoken. Star Wars fans, for the most part, want no part of the sequel trilogy or anything that comes after it that is tied to it. It puts a bad taste in our mouth. It reminds us of the worst times in Star Wars. And the thing is, we're still kind of living in that. We're still kind of living in that. We're in the Mandoverse right now, five or six years after the rise of Palpatine Skywalker. Things have not really gotten all that better. They've not found a fix or a solution yet. And bringing Daisy Ridley back as Ray is definitely not a fix. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. We are you are Echo Base Network. See you on the next one.